Hello everybody, and this evening we got a little unboxing video going on. Sorry for the quality again, but I promise that next time we got, we are going to have way better lighting up in here and way better quality. So stay tuned and get ready for this video. We're jumping right into the unboxing. This unboxing is from Urban Outfitters. I did a little order, did a little splurge. So we're gonna do a look at a couple things I bought and yeah. Let's get right into it. I got Maya here with me. Okay, okay, okay. Two big boxes. You coming in, Maya? Let's get into them. Let's see what I got. I barely remember everything. Maya's coming to check it out. See what we got. First, towel. Tie-dye towel. You don't really need me to open this. You can see this. Put this in storage for the summer. You already know Urban Outfitters got their tons of boxes and crap. So let's get into these boxes. Here's a tray I bought last time. This was, so, so I guess it's part of the unboxing. They shipped it separate. I've already been using it. Oh, forgot about this. A little hand planting pot and I'll go with the face ones that I have too so that's actually pretty cool yeah a little hand planting pot boop 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 that'll go with the face ones that I have I think I got two of them oh if I didn't get two that's not very smart because like you want to have like the both hands beside the face, but I am broke, so it would make sense if I didn't actually buy both of them. And here's the other, I did buy both of the cactus trays, so here's the other cactus tray I bought. Do do do! Nice little orange color. Except this one isn't glazed. What the heck? That's weird. The other one's glazed. And this one isn't. I wonder if that's an error. Or if it's actually supposed to be like that. So, yeah. We have the green and the orange. One's glazed, one's not. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. The matching ashtrays. Recycle. Which one's in my recycling pile? Oh, yeah. I'm putting it back in the box. Okay. And, and next item, we have a nice little black handbag. I already have a little, another version of this, the colored one, but I want the black one because it'll kind of go with anything. Um, I'll open it up to show you guys what it looks like. So I might use it soon, to be honest. It's kind of definitely nicer than the colored one, like color-wise. Even like the design of it, it has like a strap. It's slightly different. It's more like geared it has like the clips on the bottom like it's more and i think it has ripstop where the other one doesn't so this one's more like geared more like like a uh, quality for the different environments you know all different conditions acg but it's not actually acg topo it's topo designs topo mountain shoulder bag so it's more like for the mountains you know like yeah you already know then, lastly in here, I have, it's called the Ellie Macrame Hanging Shelf. It's a little hanging shelf. Might put it like beside my bed, beside my desk here, just to like maybe put some stuff on it. I think it looks pretty tiny. So, you know what, let's open it. Bam, 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 bam. Get into it and yeah. A little piece of wood with some some rope not bad by the way i got all stuff on sale so that's one of the reasons i placed this order this wood actually looks like shit what the fuck god damn it looked way better on the display it's just a shitty like rotting piece of wood what is this crap well um yeah so 
That's the reason I, oh my god, that's part of the reason I bought this order is because all of it was on sale. How does it go? You know what? I don't know how it goes. I guess it's like twisted like that, weirdly. So yeah, it's a nice little hanging hanger. It doesn't even hang straight. We'll have to find out. We will find out. So yeah, we got that. Pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy, pretty snazzy. This will go with the cardboard. Next box, bigger box. Hopefully more stuff. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, so. Boom, boom, boom. First, we got a pillow. Recycle marshmallow pillow. This shit was pricey. I was really debating it. And someone in the comments even said, I mean the reviews said like, oh, it's small. And it, they definitely weren't lying about that. This shit is tiny. She's even like, oh, I had to return it because it looks silly. My more friends, but this shit is tiny. Half of it's not even stuffed. Like, feel this. It's like, or if you could feel it, the corner's not even stuffed here. Like, mm, the stuffing needs to be like shaking around a little bit, but the bottom of this shit ain't even stuffed, bro. Only the top. Not enough stuffing in this thing. The threading is coming out. That's actually kind of disappointing. Because you can barely make out what it is. Like, the logo. Like, what the fuck is that supposed to be? Look, the threading's coming out. Right here. Half the stuffing's missing. Up in the corner. Well, it's better now that I shipped it around. But still, like, what the frig is this? And this one's better, because it's got stuffing. But this one's, like, empty. Gonna have to call and complain, Karen! Karen! Gonna pull a Karen! I fellers, because that shit was expensive, so they better give me a more of a discount on that. Some underpants. Unders. They got splatter. Like I just freaking jizzed alien jizz everywhere, man. Alien cum. Uh, alien cum. Uh. So yeah, we got some medium size, you know. This is 32 to 34. I just ordered some off Flatbush, and I, they're freaking 30 to 32. So I hope that ain't too tight. So we'll test this out. We'll try these on and see how tight these are. We'll see. We'll compare, you know. Yeah. they can. These can probably be dried and shit, though. Like, it's not actually real dye. It's more pr print. But it's still cool, cool, snazzy, you know, alien jizz design, you know. Cotton. Can't go wrong with that. Probably not organic, because they, I, or Urban Outfitters, cheap. I... Next, I got this natural, so this is apparently natural, market bag, blue colorway, this one's probably real dye, I, I assume, it's supposed to be like for, for uh, fruits and groceries and stuff, but I don't know if I'll use it for that, it's very cute, um, yeah, I love dyed stuff, so in blue, you know, my fave, in this cute little tag. Got like all the all the stuff I'm gonna put in it. Probably not though. I don't need any vegetables or anything. Cotton made in India. It's very it's very nice quality. Like some of the stuff on here, like the stuff that they actually hand make in like India and shit like that, are bomb. But then like some of the materials are just ass. So you gotta. It's kind of like a hit or miss with Urban Outfitters. It's. I buy it all on sale, so... We got some Crip, some gang, gang, gang underpants. Not really, though. No one's gonna see them, so not really repping no gangs out here. If I walk into the hood, I'm not gonna get shot or nothing. But yeah, it's like that kind of, like, bandana pattern. Blue, you know, blue, gotta have blue. Boxers. I stocked up on the boxers. I got so many boxers now. I just need a couple more of the tight ones from Patagonia. And we'll be Gucci. Gucci gang. Another pair of boxers. Can't wait to get the other ones in. I'll show you guys those ones. The Flatbush zombie ones. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. What the hell? Oh, this is a receipt. Put that on the side. This little bad boy. I think the reviews were shitty for it. I don't even remember. It's got a mold prevention little... Uh, a mold prevention sticker. That's weird as fuck. Kind of cool. 
Maybe I'll put it in like a, can you put that in like a plant? To prevent it from molding? A dying plant, that'd be cool. Aye, right, this show is expensive. So it's a natural like knit belt. It's not as like thick as I thought it would be. It's pretty like flimsy material. So I hope this shit don't come apart or else I'm gonna be sad. And the clip isn't as I thought. It's more like ovally and like kind of flimsy kind of thingy. I thought it would be like a little bit different, a little bit more rectangle. But yeah, we got this knit. Blue again, we got a blue streak. Three for three out here, kill streak. Knit belt, so yeah, that's pretty sick. I'll put that with my belt and use that whenever I need a belt, you know? And I had to go ahead and get one more towel. I'm actually gonna use this one next time I shower because I actually wanna use one of the towels that I've been freaking buying. I just found another one from Patagonia. I just really like the, the like design on this one, kind of. This isn't even the same design as the website. Is it? I don't think so. So it's a 30 by 54 towel. Doesn't feel as kind of nice. Made in Portugal. I don't see the materials. Oh. Down here. It is caught in! Keep away from fire. Why does it say that on all of them? Did someone set their shit on fire and like suit urban outfitters? I don't know. But the colors aren't the same as the freaking website. Warning. If you're shopping on urban outfitters, their colors suck on their website. They boost it all. They're false advertisement. Everyone, let's sue them. Fuck urban outfitters and their shitty website. They scam. They're fucking shitty. They miss, I've missed so many good things on there that I wanted. Like this champion sweater was the whole reason I did this order. And I couldn't even get it. Anyways, back to Happy Matthew. Um, yeah, it's still cool, I guess. You know, it's still nice. I'll still use it a lot. Hopefully it doesn't go to shit by washing it. We'll see. Bow, bow, bow. Next box. What do we got? What do we got up in here? Bow, 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 bow. Next box, what do we got? Oh my god. This is the cactus light switch I bought. I want to see if this shit actually will work too. I want to see if it'll fit on my light switch. Yeehaw! Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom, boom. Bye. Goodness. Let's see. Bam. So it's metal. A little cactus for the light switch. It made in India. Pretty snazzy. They did a pretty, uh... Bang up paint job on the inside here. Look, uh, actually looks pretty similar to the picture. Let's go test out this bad boy. BRB. So. Yeah, it'll fit. It's a fit. It's not gonna fit at the spot I wanted it to though. Just kind of disappointing. So, should I put it in my room or should I put it at the front door? If you actually have an opinion, you can comment and let me know. I think the front door would be cool. If you got an opinion. Okay, last box. The big one for last. From Hong Tam Ceramic Co. It's something fragile, it's something ceramic. Oh shit, it's a vase. I forgot I ordered a fucking vase, bro. Do I even need a vase? This one I was also really debating because I'm broke. But it looks sick, I hope. What the fuck, how do you open this shit? Yeah. 
This is real unboxing. Unboxing to extreme. Okay. I'm too weak for this. It did say fragile too. So I should be careful. Okay. Ow. Fucking hell, man. Open. Maya, come help me open this. Maya. Maya. Ah. Ah. This is it. Made in Vietnam. This show is expensive. This is actually like finally something that's like actually true to size for once. Like this shit's actually big. And normally nothing is true to size on there. It's all like way smaller than you think it'll be. Yeah. They got the vase. And apparently it's like color changing or something, or maybe that's just like what it's called. Maybe it doesn't actually change colors, but it's supposed to be cool and stuff. So, you know, thank you everybody for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. And comment below if you have any suggestions. Or if you hate me, I don't care. Okay? Thanks. Bye, everybody. Have a good day. Like the video and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Hello. My name's Bob the Builder. Okay, fuck this shit.